Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's the Sports Star back with another video on the channel, and today we are coming at you with some mock draft content. So let's get right into the video. Today we are mocking the mock of Bro Schmo's 2023 NFL mock draft with trades. Obviously, he has many mock drafts, covers a lot of draft content. If you want to check out his channel, it's in the description below. But let's, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So with the first pick, I assume the Bears go Will Anderson or Jalen Carter. Either pick would be good, honestly, but I think the right decision for the Bears is Will Anderson. But let's just see who he goes with. It Will Anderson. Okay, so Will Anderson is the pick here for the Bears. I really like the pick. Um, makes sense. Uh, moving on to the Texans, Bryce Young it has to be Bryce Young. There's no, there's really no other quarterback this year, in my opinion, at the level that Bryce Young or at the I don't think any quarterback other than Bryce Young has a very high ceiling in this draft. So it, this pick would make sense if he goes Bryce Young, and he does. Uh, and it looks like this pick he's going to trade out of. So he decides to trade the third pick from the Cardinals to the Panthers, and the Panthers go C.J. Stroud. I love the pick here. If you're the Panthers, you really honestly need anyone at this point. C.J. Stroud's a good start. He's a boomer bust, really. He just declared for the draft, and I like that pick. Colts probably Will Levis, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Will, Will Levis. I think whoever's at four, it could be they could move up to number one, trade with the Bears, and get Bryce Young, but I think that they want to save – their draft capital so that they'll go will levis here makes sense moving on we have the seahawks i've seen many people have the seahawks take jalen carter which would be an absolute steal for the seahawks and they do go with jalen carter so jalen carter obviously my opinion is the best player in this draft class and yeah move, let's move on to the lions we kind of got a sneak peek of that yeah miles murphy Miles Murphy is a great prospect. I don't know if he can. The only question is if he can perform at the next level consistently. So, but I think Miles Murphy at six here to the Lions. You have Aiden Hutchinson on the edge, on the one edge, and Miles Murphy on the other. This team is looking scary. I would argue if a quarterback like C.J. Stroud or Will Levis do consider it, but honestly, Jared Goff is probably all right. So I'd wait until next year if I'm being honest. But moving on to the Raiders, let's see what the Raiders end up doing. The Raiders end up going Christian Gonzalez. Not bad. I think must be going uh, quarterback in free agency. So Christian Gonzalez, honestly, mm, probably a top three corner in this draft, in my opinion. My top corner is Ringo, but I mean, it's either or system preference, whatever. Moving on to the Falcons. Let's see. The Falcons end up going with Tyree Wilson. I like that pick a lot, actually. I think Tyree Wilson is a good prospect, and we'll just have to see how he performs at the next level. So Cardinals get Panthers pick, and with Paris Johnson. I like that pick. I personally would have gone with corner, but to help that secondary, but, you know, Paris Johnson, in my opinion, is my top tackle over Strovinsky. So I think that, I mean, good pick. If you're going to pick any offensive lineman, I'm glad it was Paris Johnson for them. Yeah, they go Brian Reezy. Um Another great Clemson defensive Player Brian B Breezy is a absolute mauler, and honestly, Eagles, you just keep getting better. And I think Brian Breezy is a good step in that direction. 
pair him up with that great uh, defensive tackle, Jordan Davis. So, yeah, I like that pick. Moving on to the Tennessee Titans. Peter Stravinsky, I think, is a great tackle prospect, but I'd prefer, as a Titans fan, I think we move Peter Stravinsky to where Aaron Brewer was, put him at the left guard spot if we end up taking him, and then either re-sign Lawan or get a free agent. Obviously, Dennis Daly is not the solution at left tackle, and I don't think Stravinsky can pre- – form well at tackle but probably will perform really well at guard so i think that's what the titans end up doing and i think that's a pretty good i think i like that pig honestly uh texans here texans are going to go with quentin johnson I like the pick we do have john mechie who is a similar type player similar type wide receiver but at the end of the day you kind of have to go best available here and i think that has to be Quentin Johnson right here. So Quentin Johnson, great, great pick for the Texans. Pair him up with Bryce Young, and you've got a start of a scary offense. So moving on to the Jets. Let's go Broderick Jones. I don't hate the pick at all. Honestly, if you're the Jets, you had a great draft last year, and you're looking – you are a few more pieces away from a great a great team. You just need to pick the right players, and I think Broderick Jones here at 13 would be a great pick for them. Moving on to the Patriots. Patriots end up going with... They'll be trading it to the Buccaneers. And the Buccaneers take Anthony Richardson. Look. I'm only taking Anthony Richardson if you bring back Tom Brady. You waste two draft picks in recent years on quarterbacks, assuming Anthony Richardson isn't like NFL ready, uh, on quarterbacks with Tom Brady at the realm. Obviously, Kyle Trask did not work out like you hoped. So you end up going Anthony Richardson. He is not ready first year. He's not going to be your first year quarterback. But second year, get him into the system. And ceiling's high, but the floor is very, very low. But, I mean, I I like a risk. I like a risk. So I think that's a decent pick if you're going to risk it. So moving on to pick 15, we have the Green Bay Packers here. I'm just going to move up few more yeah they take jackson smith and the jigba if he can stay healthy this is going to be a steal of a pick he'll be if he can stay healthy he's probably one of the better wide receivers in the nfl moving on to the washington football team or washington commanders joey porter jr that's my cornerback too i really really like joey porter and what he can do so i give that that's probably the best pick so far in the draft. Moving on to the Steelers, they take a corner. Look, I think he his draft stock has risen quite a bit since the season has the college football season's ended. Uh, I think it's a good pick. Not much I really have to say about that. And the Lions are taking Brian Branch. Love the pick here. They're really looking at – they have two first-round picks, if I'm not mistaken, and I think going defense for both picks isn't a bad idea. So Brian Branch, best available player. Patriot, so Anton Harrison. Anton Harrison, clearly uh, tackle number four. I don't know if he makes it. I don't know if he makes it in the first round, but obviously this is such a Patriots pick. I think it's fine with me. So I think he'll fit well right next to right next to Cole Strange in my opinion. So 
moving on to the Seahawks. Seahawks go Kaylee Ringo. There's my guy. I think Kaylee Ringo is the best player or best corner in the draft. He look, he either gets he's either really locked down or he's kind of meh, but I think that at the end of the day, his ceiling is way higher than anyone else's. And I think that if the Seahawks reach on him, it would not be a bad pick. So I like that pick too. Uh moving on to the Chargers, they go Jordan Addison. Like the pick. Great run after the catch guy here and um yeah just keep getting that justin herbert those weapons and uh looks like the ravens are on the clock and they trade it to the bills so the bills he has someone he wants to get to the bills it's b john robinson looks like james cook is not going to be the long-term solution in buffalo if this is the case i like the pick for the bills i like how at all points of the offense right now, it's looking scary. I think Bijan Robinson is the next big elite running back, and looks like the Bills just snagged him right up. So I, I like that pick. Moving on to the Vikings. So the Vikings go Cam Smith. I, I really like that pick because Patrick Peterson is indeed a free agent, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. And he'd definitely be a cheaper option and better long-term solution, obviously, since Patrick Peterson is indeed younger. And I think Michael Meyer isn't a bad pick. I just feel like Evan Ingram performed so well for you towards the end of the season that it honestly wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe select a receiver. I don't know. But Michael Meyer isn't a bad pick, honestly, so... Moving on to the Giants. The Giants are taking Osiris uh, Torson or Torrance. Guard from Florida. Yep. That's all you really need. Focus on your offensive line and work up. I like that. Pick. Cowboys. Oh, they trade it to the Cardinals. They take Edge Lucas Van Ness. Like that pick. And the Bengals select, again, really like this pick. Darnell Wright, I think Bengals really still need to focus on that offensive line. Once you can protect Joe Burrow a lot better, then you know it's going to be, you know it's going to be a scary offense. Um, And just give Joe Burrow time and he's going to work his magic. So I like that pick. Broncos are trading their pick to the Saints, and they're taking Zay Flowers. Pair him up with Olave. We'll see what goes on there. And the Buffalo pick that was originally the Ravens pick, or no, the Buffalo pick, which, or no, the Ravens pick, which it was originally Buffalo's pick, they traded up for with. They're taking a cornerback, Emmanuel Forbes, like that pick, work on that secondary. And Chiefs end up going defensive line. And I think uh, Sakai, Ika, Baylor defensive interior is that guy. I think he is very good. Um, Eagles are trading their pick to the Seahawks. Seahawks want, let's see, sorry. Seahawks are going to be taking uh, Trenton Simpson, the linebacker from Clemson. And I like that pick a lot, actually. I think it's a great fit for the Seahawks. And yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new, please consider subscribing. It means so much to us. That's our first mock the mock. So it's it's a mess. But uh, if you guys do like NFL draft content or NFL content in general, please consider subscribing. It means so much to us. And thank you all for watching. Peace out, everyone.